So it's been a while since I did a pet updates video. I think it's been about two months now and a lot of people are asking for one. So that is what we are going to do today. I'm going to start off with the cats because that actually brings us to today's sponsorship, Base Paws. Base Paws is a cat DNA test that can help you learn more about your cat's breeds, traits, health, and now even their dental health. The process starts once you receive your base paws DNA test. All you need to do is swab the inside of your cat's cheek, and then once the test is mailed off, it can get to being sequenced, and this can take a couple of weeks. So the results are finally in, and we can learn a little bit more about JJ and Sadie. So first, we're gonna take a look at JJ's test. So here is the summary page. Are you ready? So JJ's breed groups his main one is the Western breed group, which is 73%, uh, the top one being Maine Coon, 25%. I wonder if that's going to be more or less than Sadie. Um, he has 3% Eastern, so not very much. 18% uh, Persian, which is kind of shocking, but not too shocking. He is a pretty fluffy boy. 4% uh, Exotic and 0% Polycat. Let's take a look at JJ's dental report. So JJ's risk score for periodontal disease, which is basically, um, it's kind of like gingivitis type of things. He does have a medium risk score. I was very interested to see the dental scores because I think Sadie is going to be higher than JJ. She does have a lot of like, she's had teeth issues, so. I'm expecting hers to be higher and he's low on the tooth reabsorption and uh, low on bad breath. Sadie's gonna have bad breath, I, I just know it. <laughs> so for health markers, it says clear. Your cat is negative for genetic markers associated with 41 diseases. That's awesome. <laughs> but it does say carrier. Your cat is not at risk, but carries genetic markers associated with one other disease. Um, that's very interesting. And it also says his blood type is likely A, so that is very interesting. So next up is Sadie's results. So let's see how they differ from JJ's. So here is Sadie's summary page. So she has, oh my goodness. <laughs> so her breed groups are Western 76%. And she is 26% Maine Coon. So she's even higher Maine Coon than JJ. Um, she's also 15% Broadly Western, 10% American Short Hair. She has 1% Eastern, 12% Persian, um, with 7% British Short Hair, um, and 9% Exotic. So that's super interesting. Oh my goodness. The dental report, the dental report. I already knew this is coming. So she does have a, a high risk of the periodontal disease. I already knew this. Sadie has had teeth issues. Um, her tooth reabsorption is low. Uh, her risk of bad breath is super high. I already knew this. She has very stinky breath. I do try to be able to brush her teeth. Sadie is very difficult, but I do try my best and it has been discussed with my vet. As for the health markers, Sadie is clear. Uh, she tests negative for the genetic markers associated with 43 diseases. Um, she's not a carrier. She's not at risk at all. And that is wonderful. Our only issue is her dental issues. <laughs> So if you're interested in getting your own base paws kit, make sure to use the link down below and you can also get 15% off if you use the coupon code Victoria Rachel. Now on to the bunnies. So here's the rabbits. <laughs> they are doing pretty good. I don't know, I don't know if you can tell, but they are shedding like so crazy. They're sh just starting to molt. Um, <laughs> and it's 
super hard to deal with because you guys don't like being brushed. Um, Cleo is okay with being brushed a little bit more than Lola. Lola is like, don't touch me at all, which is pretty much Lola's entire life. She's like, just don't ever touch me, just feed me, give me snacks, which same. <laughs> so Lola's uh, got, she looks so straggly. Come here, show them. Wait, what? I think you could see that. She's pretty straggly. Okay, one more. Do you spin? Shoot. But they are doing pretty good besides the fact that they are just molting or starting to molt. I think today I'm going to try to maybe groom Cleo to get a lot of her molting out. There you go. Oh my goodness, it's all this floof. I know, this isn't fun. It's, it should feel nice. Get all that extra hair off. to me. Look at all of this hair that is everywhere. I guess it's not that much. I have seen more. You can have a little rabbit to pay. Okay. Here is Mabel and she is doing really really well. We actually celebrated her first birthday on Wednesday. Um, she was born February 23rd 2021 and I went ahead and made her a little birthday cake and I filmed a lot for you guys so we can play that now. So I have some veggies for Mabel. <laughs> you want your veggies? Do you like them? <laughs> Straight in the pouch. Oh, and some fresh water too. The next boy that is awake is Dipper. <laughs> so Dipper actually has switched where he sleeps. He used to sleep in his multi-chamber hide, but now he's gone underneath this platform and then underneath the dig boxes on a platform. It's a very interesting setup. I actually love this little shelf above Dipper's enclosure. Um, I usually put him on it every night and then I can brush out his fur and get these little 
Look at these little tufts. <laughs> Let me get these pieces of bedding. And then we can just push them into the cage. You have a little tiny, does anybody else see this? This tiny little mat. Oh, goodness. It's like a little bedding stuck. Dipper also gets his veg. I wanted to show you Waddle's enclosure before he wakes up. So a new thing inside of his enclosure is I gave him the 11 inch Woden wheel because he was peeing in his cork wheel way too much and this makes it a little bit more convenient for me to clean it out. And then another thing that he got is one of those cookie jars and it has some cork granules in it for him to dig in. So that is what his enclosure looks like. Excuse me. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Mabel. <laughs> oh my goodness. <gasps> is she so loud or what? <laughs> Mabel! We're trying to film. So here is Waddles. He is doing pretty good. He's quite the, what is the word I'm looking for? He's kind of, is it aloof? Is that the word? Oh my goodness, I'm probably messing it up, but I think that's the word. That is how I would describe Waddles. He is usually a boy that I will not hear. <laughs> He's very, quiet and discreet when he wakes up. Yeah, noodle boy. Oh my goodness, you get so cute you are. I also have veggies for you. Hmm? Do you want the veg? Okay, we will get you. We'll get you your veg. Hey. <laughs> hey. Peekaboo. Waddles also got vegetables, but he prefers his millet sprays. So that is what he is munching on. So that is it for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed seeing all of the pets and I will see you in my next video. Bye.